You're better off without me. I'm such a bad person. And I don't want to keep holding on, but I guess it's selfish not to. And it's still there, tapping on my shoulder, reminding me that it never left and it's never going to till I get help. But I'm broke. So I have to stay broken. Please! Somebody help! Shut up back there! I need quiet! I'll just breathe. She can't hurt you from back there. I hate her. I hate myself. I hate this feeling. Can we please just talk about this? Please? No. We can't talk about this. Now shut up or I'm coming back there. Fine. I have been screaming for a year and no one has looked up. No one hears me. I can hear you. Just talk to me. I don't want to talk. That's why I gagged you. But I guess that didn't last for long. Well, you gagged me with the dirty sock, which is gross, by the way. So I just spit it out. Why would I talk to you? I don't even know you. I know, but I'm a great listener. Or so I've been told. Well, Technically, they didn't tell me. I was eavesdropping on someone's conversation, and I heard it, and I was like, "Oh, that's nice. So you're a good listener even when you're not a part of the conversation? Hey, you have no room to judge me. Might I remind you our first time meeting is when I woke up in your trunk, gagged with a dirty sock, and bound with duct tape? I guess. How do you know my name? You were talking on speakerphone earlier and the person on the other end was very loud and I could hear them refer to you many times as Lonnie. I don't want to talk anymore, so hush. Well, I do. Are you okay? And why do you feel like I'm gonna hurt you? I'm fine. And I don't feel that way. But... You had said that she can't hurt you from back there. So, if you weren't talking about me, then who were you talking about? No one. Drop it. Is it... I said, drop it! Fine. Could you turn the radio up? 
I want to hear what they're saying on the news. Fine, just stop talking. There are no eyewitnesses yet, but with the police pulling the tapes from the traffic lights, it looks like we'll have our answer soon enough. Along with this, we've just received notice of a recently filed missing persons report for a young woman by the name of Harper Phineas. Her family, so desperate to find their baby girl, has issued a $100,000 reward to whoever finds her and brings her home safely. Here is a message from Hannah Phineas, Harper's mom. That's enough. You know, if you let me go, I'm sure we can put this whole thing behind us. Go back to town. It'll be a little secret. I said that's enough. You don't get it, do you? Neither of us are leaving this car, okay? At least, not physically. Please, please, please. You're awake. Great. We need to talk. You're bleeding. No, it's your blood. It cut on me. No, your shoulder. It's bleeding. 